Okay, so now we're at the velocity graph. So if we look at the velocity plots, then we have a vertical and horizontal axis again. On my horizontal axis we plot time and on the vertical axis we have velocity so let me again draw just a random velocity graph to explain to you what's happening there we go okay here's an example of a velocity graph and this time you see something odd it's also going below the the um, dependent the independent variables axis okay remember that above that axis the values are positive below that axis the values are negative okay so what are we again noticing well um let's tr take some times again let's say after two seconds we're at uh, five meters per second after four seconds we're at 10 meters per second again they'll usually put in brackets meters per second and that one as seconds okay and then after another let's say that's another four seconds we're still at 10 meters per second and then here at six sorry that must be eight and then that must be ten okay and then this let's make this one 12 after 12 seconds okay we're at okay negative five let's say that's negative five and that's also the case after 14 seconds okay so I'm, I'm just making things up as I go and I'm just going to explain what's actually happening here so first thing again let's look at this horizontal line here on any horizontal line it means the values aren't changing as T is increasing V is staying at 10 okay so if velocity is staying at 10 it means it's just cruising at a constant velocity okay so what is happening before that well let's start here at, at the beginning there we have that velocity is equal to zero okay so whatever this vehicle is doing or this object is doing it started off not moving and then as time goes by its velocity seems to be increasing now that we call acceleration when something is increasing its velocity it is accelerating but we'll get to acceleration in the next chapter for now just understand it's increasing its velocity then it reaches 10 meters per second and then it cruises at 10 meters per second for those four seconds it's cruising at 10 meters per second then it starts decreasing here you see if I were to read off a value here it might be at 8 a value there it might be at 6 this value is at 5 so as time is going by it's decreasing now so this downward slope means I am decelerating okay I don't know how to spell that okay just take my word for it that's deceleration okay so deceleration so this thing is actually slowing down slowing down and it eventually reaches zero which means it's standing still but only for one moment and then its velocity starts getting negative now remember what we said when an object is moving in a certain direction and its velocity is positive if the velocity is negative it means it's now moving in the opposite direction okay so now it's it was traveling it was traveling fast slowing down until it got to zero and now it's turning around and now it's increasing its velocity again so do you see the velocity is even though it's negative the velocity is increasing initially it's negative one negative two negative three it is increasing but in the negative direction until we get to negative five meters per second and there it is going at a constant velocity in the opposite direction okay so if this was too crazy and looking at this sketch it might be a little bit crazy if someone just have a look at this here they they think I'm crazy okay but colorful if this is crazy maybe watch this video once more and see if you can follow my explanation where an upwards gradient means I'm accelerating increasing in velocity a horizontal line means I am cruising at the same velocity for a while 
A downward slope means I'm decreasing my velocity. But you can imagine if I am slowing down, slowing down, I can only slow down until I reach zero. If I continue to slow down, I am going so slow I'm going backwards. And that's exactly what's happening. When I continue to slow down, I'm going so slow I'm actually going backwards. That's literally what's happening. And the only other thing is that when we reach the axis, that's actually where velocity is equal to zero. And if velocity is zero, it means I'm standing still. Sometimes just for a moment, but if it was like that, I would have been standing still for some time. Cool. Thank you for watching this. See you in the example videos.